Hi, I'm Karen. We're here at Montevilla Sewing Center, and today we're going to make a glasses case. For fabrics, we want to use denim or twill for the outside. You can also use canvas, but nothing too thick, just something nice and firm. And then for inside, we want it nice and soft against your glasses. So I'm using fleece. You could also use flannel or maybe sweatshirt fleece, but I like this fleece. Now I would caution you not to use anything that has nap because nap tends to make your fabrics kind of slip and slide. Next, we're going to cut out our fabrics and I'm using seven inch squares. So I've got my rotary cutter, my mat and my ruler. Now when we line up the ruler, we want to start out with the seven inch mark a little bit in from the raw edges here. So that way it's easier to square it up on the second cut. All right, turn this around, trim it off. Okay. Do the same for the fleece. Next, we're going to round the corners of two corners. And I'm using this pencil cup here because it seems to be about the right diameter. You could also probably use a pop can or a water bottle or something like that. And we only want to round two corners because that's going to be the top edge where you put your glasses in. All right. Take scissors. That, trying to make it as round as possible. Just take your time. Some people might be wondering about using a mini rotary cutter to do this. I like using scissors instead. So to give you an idea, when we've got it finished, this is going to be the top edge that we're going to put our glasses in. So that's why we rounded those corners. So now we need to pin the two layers together. Make sure you have the outside of your twill on the outside. So it's, we're pinning it wrong sides together. And I am using these long quilting pins because they go through these nice thick layers. And also notice when I'm pinning, I'm burying those points. It's, uh, believe me, it saves your skin. <laughs> Next, we need to baste that about three quarters of an inch away from the edge. And the basting we will take it out later. So for basting, go to your regular sewing machine and move the uh, length right up there to the maximum. Again, we're going about three quarters of an inch. It doesn't have to be exact. Make sure not to sew over any pins. And away we go here. Now I like to stop with my needle down, so I like this machine uh, that has a needle down feature. Needle up, needle down. That way, when I get over here to the corner, I can just lift up my presser lever and the needle holds everything in place. Now here is where we're going to serge this top edge, and not the whole thing, just the top edge. That's the, going to be the opening part. Now what I've got, this serger set up for three thread left needle, not using the right needle at all. Okay, here we go. And just take it slow. Go. It's okay to cut off a little bit of your rounded corner, just don't cut off too much and make it consistent, whatever you do cut off. Also, I have shortened my stitch length so that my stitches are a little closer together. Notice also that I've used thread that matches my outer fabric, but you can also use contrast thread or decorative thread that's a little bit loftier. That would be nice also for this.
we just go off the side like that. That's the first step. Next, fold your glasses case right sides together like this. So you've got that fold. Now this is where you're going to start, right here. I'm going to roll my hand wheel so that that cutter is up so I can get it right close to that. And you've got a lot of thick layers that you're going through. That's all right. Hang on to that thread tail. Notice I'm only cutting about an eighth of an inch off, and that's fine. Now I made a couple of stitches into the fabric down here, and I'm going to lift up my presser foot, pull that thread tail around, make sure it's in front of the cutter, because the cutter needs to cut it off. There we go. Now, we're going to do the side here. And we're going to start out the same way making that thread tail so it ends up sealed in the seam. Take a couple stitches by hand. Make sure the thread tail is smoothed out. Pull it around like this. Make sure that the cutter will cut it off. Now here you're going to need to hang on to your layers so that they don't shift forward. I like to kind of tip it up a little bit like that. Go right off the end. Now, make a thread tail at the end that's a little bit longer like this because you're going to take your darning needle and you're going to take that thread tail and run it right back through the seam. You can even go between the layers if you want to. That's fine. Okay, thread tail. And I've shown this in some of my other surgery videos how to do this because surgeries do not have a back stitch capability. So you want to take your thread tails, pull them right back through just like that. Now the last thing to do is to remove that basting. And that's how to make a glasses case. I could put my glasses in there and they're safe and sound. Now you can also use upholstery fabric for this, a lightweight upholstery fabric. Just sew out a sample and see how it works. Also, there are many ways that you can embellish something like this. So give us some of those ideas in the comments down below. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give us a thumbs up. If you have comments or questions, you can also leave those in the area down below. We have lots of other videos here on our Montevilla YouTube channel, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.